Well, not in a chat. I think we got to open with a song every day, you know. Fate, I think we got to open with a song and then any bang, any time. Yes, sir. But well, we close up with this particular song. You got that dub, right? <laughs> well, this is the Supreme Show. Now, I the show. Sit down and check it and relax, right? You <laughs> just dance and skip it. Bunks in the way. <laughs> so we dive right inside that. That real exclusive interview right now. With no other than TBT Roberts. Inside the place right here, right now. The Mart Station. Welcome to the Supreme Show. Hi, good morning to you, Mr. Roberts. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, fate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, hearing? Yes, sir. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, fate, and good morning, my beautiful people, Guyana. <laughs> <laughs> So, tell us, who is Timothy Roberts? Listen, Timothy Roberts, one, is an awesome young man. I'll tell you honestly. You know, without a doubt, Timothy Roberts is a producer, songwriter, um, musician, music director, music arranger, and so much more. <laughs> so it's a lot to say. <laughs> and also a peace officer. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ah, a lot of persons don't know that. So, what inspired you to start music? Listen, with music, my family is musically oriented. You know, when I came into contact with the instruments, you know, with my mom, my dad, uh, my uncles, I watch how they, my granddad, he, he was a saxophonist, you know me, and we grew up in a musical environment. So because of that, you know me, I've, I've looked at music as a way, listen, man, this is really nice. This is really good. You know, I really want to do music. So that's that's exactly what inspired me, you know? So who or what is your motivation? My motivation? The people. <laughs> I'm telling you. And their fans. The people motivate me every single day. You know what I mean? Looking at a lot of things that, as, as a law enforcement officer, look at a lot of things, you know what I mean? Uh, having contact with so many young people, especially, I mean, they, they, a lot of stuff that they go through on a day-to-day -day basis, peer pressure, anxiety, depression, you know what I mean? And every time I think about the people, you know, that inspire me to keep going, keep going, you know? And another thing too, when I look at where I, where I came from, that inspired me to keep going on and on. <laughs> Somebody said that they, they didn't hear actually who is Timothy Roberts. So I think you oh, need yeah. to repeat it again for them. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I think the mic wasn't on at the point in time. So definitely. So Timothy Roberts is a law enforcement officer. Timothy Roberts is a producer, songwriter, musical director, arranger, and lots more. Songwriter and so many more to say. But time wouldn't permit me to do so. <laughs> so I hope you're here now. Yes, so what inspired you to start music? Oh, they didn't hear that either? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Listen, man. what inspired me to start music is, first of all, the environment that I grew up in is a musical environment. My family, they're musically oriented, you know, and from since small, we, we were into music, you know, our dad or our mom provided those, equipped those uh, necessary instruments so that we could play and all that stuff. So from... From, uh, from our toddler stage, from my toddler stage to now, yeah, that's exactly what inspired me, you know? Oh, wow. <laughs> that's a great inspiration. Yeah. So how long have you actually been doing this as a musician, as a music person, and also professionally? Because, you know, persons that say, oh, they started from young. Yeah. But how long have you actually been doing this professionally? 
professionally i've been doing this from since okay so first of all i've been doing music for about 13 years now wow that's a long right? time <laughs> i've been doing it for for about 30 years now however i started to do it professionally when i came out of uh, secondary school and from then to now i've kept it you know man that's how i kept doing music professionally oh wow yeah so what other genre of music are you into other than soca mm. okay so for first of all i am versatile i must say that i am a gospel artist for many of you who doesn't know i am a gospel artist you know um when it comes to genre i am versatile when it comes to that i can do r and I i can do soul i can do reggae you know soca you know jazz i can do it all you know you could even go so far to say rap i can do it but it doesn't mean <laughs> i'll be perfect at it but you know what i mean there, there are certain there, there, there are genres that i'm exceedingly amazing at like the r&b you know and now the soca which i've lately realized and figured out yo tim you got a powerful voice you know and <laughs> with a voice like this singing so you could do a lot you could do a lot you know what i mean touch a lot of people so you know what i mean that's it <laughs> No, you know, this song actually reminds me mm. of uh, Samuel Medas because oh, yeah. he got a kind of, you know, he's a gospel artist. Yeah. And then he went into the soca monarch. Mm. It's not a, he actually wanted to prove a point, but he just right. loved what he uh, is doing. And then, well, see, he went. The next year he went, he got third. So it, it's kind of like that's so, like you said, you're a gospel artist right. and then went into the, you know, and I love the song for the positivity and the mm. positive message that is actually there. Yeah, yeah. So where do you record your music? Or do you work with anyone specially or you spread your wings? No, I have multiple producers. You know, but right now as it is, I'm working with uh, Daryl Pugsley. Many of you know him as DP. I yeah, DP. <laughs> and also uh, David Hubbard, that's from Legacy, right? He's Legacy, uh, David Hubbard. I've heard the yeah. name, but I don't know the individual. So those are the two studios I'm working with right now. I did work with uh, Vijay, which is Paradigm before. So right now, as it is, I'm working with the two producers for now. Yeah, I must say big up to Daryl. He is back in the game because I know one year Daryl had actually mm. sent up six soca artists for one soca monarch in the finals. And all of them went into the finals. Some of them placed, some of them didn't place. And it was a good look. And for, I must say, big up to my friend Jory. He was the best newcomer in that year. So, yeah. yeah. Nice. And this this was, this was song was produced by Daryl. Daryl did this song. Yeah, he's yeah. doing great stuff now. I'm seeing he's delving into Chutney. So, that's a great thing from him. So, I've heard you mention about your family background. Tell, mm. tell me about your music genetics. <laughs> Uh, music genetics okay first of all let me say my mom she sings uh my sisters they sing my brothers uh some of you many of you should know them uh daniel roberts john roberts one of them play for fame he's a drummer for fame band and for those of you who know about the 592 band one of them is a drummer for 592 band or kunja steel orchestra uh, yeah and he, <laughs> the, daniel roberts he's the drummer that is on this uh this track uh, my un my god my grandfather Rick Ford uh, Corbin he was a saxophonist you know oh, wow yeah. see so you <laughs> so <laughs> before let me don't stray away much from this um, okay. interview but as a peace officer mm -hmm. how has that actually how do you actually balance music because I know a lot of persons you know mm -hmm. being like I've asked Jamal, the same question yeah. because he is a panis. Mm -hmm. So, how do you actually balance music and being a peace officer and work? <laughs> well, first of all, I must say, music is my passion, right? And when you have a passion for something, it doesn't matter what you're doing, you will find a balance somehow. You know, you will find an avenue for what you're passionate about. So, being a peace officer, that has never affected uh, my passion for music and what I do for music, you know, because I manage my time well. So I'm able to select and allot it when I do music and apart from when I do my work as a peace officer. And that, that, that's a balanced life. Yeah. So like I said, I, I didn't want straight. So why have you not involved mm -hmm. in the music aspect of the Guyana Police Force? Oh, the reason being because 
I'm already I'm already into music. I was already into music before I joined the Guyana Police Force. So I said, man, I don't want to go into the Guyana Police Force and do music because I already know music. You know, <laughs> I'm already a fan and everything when it comes musically because so I said, man, I just want to go do something different. You know, I want to go do something different. That's how come I'm not in the musical department. Even though they're saying like, come on, you got to come to the music department. <laughs> I said, no, I want to ah. do something different apart oh from music. I'm already doing music outside already. You know? Uh, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Uh, it's so funny that you mentioned that because mm. I'm often asked the same question being a singer, not an artist. But why don't you join the aspect? of the music department of the Guyana Police Forces like nah <laughs> but I've done some music mm. with some of the police officers yeah, they got some in the Guyana the Police Force like some of the trumpet players saxophonists yeah. <laughs> trombone and you know these guys are like my brothers and one of them she's like my sister so big no, up to the, big up to the Guyana Police Force uh, band they got listen, listen to me they got some wonderful musicians there for those of you who don't know, the, the, the musicians, the singers at the Guyana Police Force, excellent, man. Yeah, I must you know? say, big up to the string band in the Guyana Police Force. Yeah. Big up to Miss Smith. <laughs> yeah. Miss Smith and I used to sing together. So, <laughs> big up. so what are your achievements thus far in this music industry? Oh, my achievement, one of the things uh, in this music industry is to promote unity among the, among artists, you know, I've grown up and I've I've looked at a lot of things. I've witnessed. Even I've become a, I've been a victim, you know. Because if we have unity as as singers, you know, what I mean, uh, as musicians, imagine what the people can feel from us. When you look at Trinidad, you know, what I mean, you see the unity and the vibe and the energy. The people how they support, you know, what I mean. So one of my aim is to bring that love, bring that unity, you know, what I mean, us supporting each other, us celebrating each other, you know, what I mean. And that is what that is one of my main achievements to promote you know what i mean among my brothers and sisters in the musical industry whether it's gospel whether it's secular right to for unity for love for support and let us celebrate each other it doesn't matter who's at the top <laughs> it doesn't matter who's at the bottom let us celebrate each other that's great i like your message said yeah. celebrate life mm. <laughs> talk to me yes where do you see yourself in the next I, it could be tomorrow, five years. Mm. To, where do you see yourself as an artist? Anytime. Where do I see myself? Yes. <laughs> so, a lot of people ask me that question. They'd be like, um, how long are you going to be in the Ghana Police Force for? I said, I've been there for a while. You know what I mean? I said to them, music is my passion. Uh, music helps me to connect with the people, not only physically, but in so many ways. You know what I mean? So, in the next five to six years from now when i finish complete my my uh my assignment in the Guyana police force only god knows what he has me there for you know i'm hoping to be one of guyana's icon as it relates to the music industry you know what i mean to represent not only nationally but internationally you know so yeah <laughs> i want to put guyana more on the i want to come alongside my other colleagues who are there to put Guyana more on the map musically. That's great. So yeah. he actually wants to pave way for others. Yeah. That that's a great thing, you know, to manifest something over your life that you actually want to do. Like I always tell persons, especially creative, manifest over your life because once you manifest over your life, it's gonna actually happen. I want to say big up to Jamal Stewart. He's on the life. He's saying Timothy Roberts. Fire 100% <laughs> big up. Another peace officer and another finalist yeah. in the Soho Monarch. Yeah. So if you were to have a future collaboration, who would it be and why? It could be regionally, internationally, mm -hmm. locally. Who would anybody it doesn't have to be a specific person mm -hmm. any number of persons well, let me start off seeing that i'm a gospel artist one of my col uh, collaboration one of these with crazy ace yeah <laughs> yeah that's my guy man big up to crazy ace you know he's he's also in the competition and we'll be back and back listen to me that's my bro man you know what i mean i really got a lot of respect for crazy ace you know on the secular aspect of the music because what he did i i, I was blown away you know what i mean he reached out to me as a secular artist he was like yo bro you're a gospel artist. I'm a secular. Let us do something together. You know what I mean? And I was like, wow, this is this is this is what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? So big up to you, Crazy Ace, and definitely we're doing that collab. You understand me? <laughs> 
So Guyana local for that collab between myself and Quasi is. <laughs> that is good. So Jamal is saying Guyana Police Force Steel Orchestra mm. tuned in. <laughs> so you have the whole Guyana Police Force Steel Orchestra and is tuned in. And watch me. Even even if I go further, Jomo, I call you out. <laughs> we got to do a collab together. You understand me? <laughs> I'm a gospel artist and we got to do a collab. Crazy yeah. is, let's work. Let's do something. Yeah, let us those set, are the real let us set OGs. The trend yeah. Yes. <laughs> Apart from music, what what other part of the arts are you involved in? Or what are you actually involved in apart from music? Apart from music? Uh... Apart from music, well, you know, police officer. <laughs> yes. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm also into, I'm I also into occupation, health and safety. Um, I re recently graduated from the University of Guyana of uh, electrical engineering uh, from the Government Technical Institute. So it's not just music. I'm into so many things apart from that. <laughs> You're yeah. a well-rounded person. That's yeah. great. <laughs> At least when, uh, let me don't put it this way. But I should say, mm -hmm. as according to it is out there, you're a jack of all trades. So when one trade fails you or one doesn't work out for you, you can go the other part. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. True. So, do you have anything you are actually working on presently apart from the competition or this soca song? Yeah, uh, I'm presently working on my album, uh, which I I'm working towards getting it done this year. Right, I have uh, approximately about eight songs right now in the studio. Wow, that's uh, a lot. Some, a few of them waiting to be mastered. So, Guyana, listen out for the album, you know. And the name of that album, I'll tell you the honest truth, is The Edge. And as I, when I come back in an audio interview to do, uh, to talk about that album, I'll tell you why The Edge. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's on the edge because just like you want a <laughs> party, but just <laughs> now I, I give you the chance, I can give Dr. you the way. <laughs> Do your thing. Ah. <laughs> so let the public know where they can actually find you and your mm -hmm. music. Also, give them information to vote for you. Mm -hmm. Where is the competition being held and these kind of things all about right. the Soka Monarch? So, uh, first of all, my name is Timothy Roberts. On my on Facebook, you will find me as Timothy Roberts. You have my personal profile, also the fan base page on Instagram is at one Timothy Roberts. On TikTok, it is at one Timo Roberts. All right, you could definitely find me there. Um, with this competition, let me say this, you know, because a lot of people will be speculating, a lot of people will be asking questions like, why would a gospel artist go into the so come on you know like they did with samuel madas yes they, they did a question questions, a lot and you know? it was a lot of ridicule yeah. and you know a lot of hatred yeah, yeah, and yeah. very horrible things i, I know y you see that is why i personally i'm gonna tell you mm. i've never become an artist because of the lot a lot of things because you know they say oh you're a church person are you going there and, so right. I just stick to being a choral singer and mm. that's what I love doing and I never become an artist. So they can talk listen, all man, about Listen, man, we, we have a responsibility as people of God not only to surround ourselves just in the church, but we have a responsibility to reach and touch the people out there. You know what I mean? So it's more than us just going on that stage. You know what I mean? While we know it's, a, it's an art, you know, also on the other side of it for me, you know, I've been contributing to the Marshall Money over the years because many of you don't know. I've, I'm a steel pump player also. Uh, I represented North Rumvelt Multilateral. And for those of you who know North Rumvelt Multilateral, you know it as multi. We share licks year go, year yeah, come. You know yeah, yeah, big up to Lips. them. You know yeah, they as always win. This is always win the yeah, I and, know. And a lot of people come to see multi share licks beat up Queen's College. <laughs> yes, Queen's <laughs> College does big licks for you know, truth. So, so because of that, I then went over to the Guyana Police Force, which I also, when around this time, they were sent for me to also be a part of the Guyana Police Force band, which is the Steel Orchestra, right? Yeah. And I also <laughs> play with the Guyana Police Force, whereby two consecutive years, apart from prior years, we share licks. Yeah, the yeah, Ghana police force for the big is large bands, right? Yes. I'm a belly full, you know. <laughs> so I tell them why. Uh, I was like, I said, listen to me, man. I said, may not play this year. <laughs> my belly full so i said my uh, how how else can i contribute to our culture which is martial money right and i said man okay so they got this so come on i said i can sing i can write i can do this so i said man let me go and be a part of the so come on so this is my contribution to 
our uh, culture, which is Marshall Money. You know what I mean? Like everybody, like Trinidad and all these things. Our, listen, man, people contribute to yeah. what is yours. You understand me? We know Carnival is, is, is Trinidad. No, no. Marshall Money is, guy, is a yeah, Guyanese thing. Yeah, it's we thing. own. It's we own. <laughs> like you know Mad 97 yeah, is we own. So, so this, 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 this year, this is my contribution to our culture, Mashra Money. Yeah. Yes. So Jamal Stewart is saying, big up Officer Roberts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, another peace officer supporting his fellow contestant. <laughs> yes. I must say big up to you guys because mm-hmm. like I said, you know it's getting on the edge because it's 14 of you guys in yeah. the final for the <laughs> senior Soko Monarch. And guess what? Oh. It's not one, it's not two, but three peace officers and real great artists and real positive music. Yeah, but Faith, you know, so, somebody came to me, he's like, Timo, you don't scare this competition. It's a stiff competition. I was like, listen to me. I said, no, I'm not scared. It's not a stiff competition, but it is a good competition. Exactly. It's a difference. It's you know? what you put out there. It is a good it's competition. You, you know, yeah. I, I tell persons maybe listen, if you do not win or you do not have the crown, it's still a win for you because for the mere fact that you are in the finals and you get to showcase your talent, you get to put your message out there. Yeah. It is a win for you. So yeah, maybe yeah, you yeah. might not get the crown. Yeah. Or and if you win, well, it's good luck yeah. to you. But yeah. it is still a win. And all the persons in the finals, the fourteen persons you are a winner well yeah. crown or not you are a winner indeed you are it doesn't yes. matter from the wake up in the morning you're a winner yes and, and that and is what this song is actually talking about celebrate uh, yes life. Come actually on. i celebrate heard the song life. it actually it reminds me of voice and that was the same mm. song that you know cheers to life voice mm. entered the first time he know but no so come on he entered and guess what he won nice. and Voice has actually changed, and I must say again, Voice has actually changed the way of soca music. Yeah. He's actually put it into a positive and conscious <laughs> message out there that you know that people don't only you know think about soca as in gyrating. And and, up and uh, that, is, that is your passion on the musical aspect. Come on, go for it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to stand out. Be confident in what you are putting out. You know what I mean? First of all, you must believe in yourself. Don't be afraid. You're going to find people trying to say this. They're going to try to say that. But you got to be confident in who you are. Understand me? And you got to believe in what you're doing. So stay focused. And remember, stay humble. And that is the way to go. Because, exactly. because, <laughs> because when you come off of that stage from singing, your art, your, your artist time is not finished you're an artist an artist is more proven off of stage than when that's he or so she's true. on stage that's, that's when you actually get yeah. into your creative form because and, yeah and like i i tell persons as an art person you have to be humble yeah disciplined and be talented you yeah. know you just can't have the talent aspect and not being humble or you know disciplined because it do not work and whenever you make it up don't forget to help somebody you know what I mean? Even if you got to share your stage with somebody from the nude, share it. Because what? It's all for what? Love. It's all for unity. And we and, and let me tell you this. I'm a people's person. You understand I me? Mean? And I love people. And if you see talent, if you see, if you see a uh, great, great, uh, what's the word? Okay. If you see great talent, you understand I me? Mean? Don't be afraid to pull that person with you and help them. And if you can share something as an artist, whether you, you made it or whether you now make, share it and help our fellow brothers and sisters because when you come off the scene we have these others to carry on what is called the legacy and that's the only way you can able to be great so give the <laughs> other 13 presses yeah. <laughs> what do you have to tell your fellow uh, contestants in the soca monitor <laughs> what do you have to tell them what i gotta tell them <laughs> because <laughs> remember it's 13 of them battling against you so what do you have to tell them all, I, all I'm gonna say to y'all, all I'm gonna say to y'all, y'all listen to me good and listen to me properly. I love y'all bad. You understand me? We brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters. But listen to me, when we reach on the stage, it's competition. You understand <laughs> me? But listen to me, y'all keep up the good work. I'm proud of, listen to me, I'm proud 
of the especially the, the the young artists that step into this competition and not only that the yep. quality and the standard of music that they like i was saying yesterday if I'm you really was listening happy, to my actually interview yesterday i was saying I'm so happy. there are a lot of newcomers mm -hmm. in this senior monarch whether it's chutney soka and calypso and you know what really amazed me yeah. and I, i'm very happy about it the quality of music has yeah. actually went skyrocket yeah yeah right? no it's doubt, actually no improved doubt. so guyana guyanese people listen man on the 22nd of february at the national stadium just come out and give your support you know what i mean not only to the to our our seniors but also to the juniors inclusive of myself who's now entering into this competition come and let us celebrate yes mashimani is a time of celebration you know and as my song said come and let us celebrate life because listen to me faith a lot of people didn't wake up to see this morning i'm telling you that's true you understand me and what i've noticed what one of the things that really inspired me with this song is that a lot of people only celebrate when they achieve great things that's or so when true. they or when the near miss dead from the from from or when they near miss death let me say let me say that way. that's so true that's no me? lie that's then they be true. like oh god thank you for being alive or this and that look at how many people we lost in the covid 19 you know what i mean and let me say and this new guy you know Y'all stop it. Stop waiting for when it's your birthday. Then to say, man, I'm blessed to be alive. Celebrate life every single day because you don't know what tomorrow holds for you. You don't know where you're going to be tomorrow. So so right now, as for those of you who are listening to me, celebrate life. Go and hug somebody. Listen to me. Tell somebody, listen to me. I love you. Come on, just celebrate. Just celebrate, man. Tell the people where they can find your song to vote. Okay, so on the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports page on Facebook, you will definitely find my song there. Look for Timothy Roberts. Uh, I have on a grey suit. You wouldn't miss me. I'm not ugly. I'm handsome. <laughs> 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 also on YouTube, uh, Timothy Roberts. You can find the song there. And also on Daryl Pugsley YouTube channel, you can also find the song there. Right? And as you follow me on Facebook, the song will be shared there. And I'm putting out a challenge for you Guyanese people if you know you're blessed to be alive if you know you're blessed this is what I want you to do for me do a video of yourself saying I am blessed celebrate life even if you get your family get your friend do this video said I am blessed celebrate life post it and tag me on it you understand me yeah so there you have it that was your exclusive interview with none other than Timothy Roberts he is a finalist in the senior soca monarch 2023 competition yeah. his song is celebrate life so i leaving you alone and you can ha have a fun time mm -hmm. and perform your song so y'all people enjoy the performance guys yeah. people tell evil wicked bad mind people that can't touch you man listen this you ready tell me when you're ready i gotta get up for this one if you're in your car, put up your hand. But make sure you're holding this steering wheel. <laughs> Come on, wherever you are, listen to me. Wave your flag wherever you are. Come on, listen to this song. Listen now. Listen this. Every morning that you wake. You hear me now? Every morning that you wake. It's time to celebrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not in the grave. Hear me now. Thank you, Lord, for another day. Many people didn't make it. Oh, my God. But I'm grateful I did. You did. We did. Many people didn't make it. Hear me now. Put up your hand and sing. Hear me now. Oh, my Father, you bless me. Yeah. I live to see another day. Oh, my God. Father, you. <laughs> Come on, somebody says celebrate life. Listen, 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 listen up. Put up your hand. Come on. Wave your flag. Come on, we celebrate tonight. Woo! Listen. Every morning that you wake, it's time to celebrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not in my grave. Thank you, Lord, for another day. Many people didn't make it. But I'm grateful I did. I did, you did, many people didn't make it, oh my, but I'm grateful I did, I did, Father you bless me, yeah, 
I'll live to see it night and day. Say, Father, you bless me. Whoa. I'll live to sing it night and day. Say, Father, you bless me. Yeah. I'll live to dance a night and day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Father, you bless me. Whoa. I'm grateful for another day. Hear me now, celebrate. Come on, wave you at. Dance, jump, wave. Listen now, listen now, yeah. Celebrate. I'm alive and well now, now. Celebrate life now, 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 now. Tell bad mind this, tell them this, listen now. No evil can come away. Oh my God. Because I'm protected every day. Tell them at work this. Evil bad mind wicked people. Come on. You will not prevail, no, 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 no. Sing evil, bad mind, wicked people. Ah. So you will not prevail. Tell them evil people this. No evil cannot take my life. Bad mind, you cannot take my shine. Because I'm protected by the most high. Who are you? Who are you? No evil cannot take my life. Bad mind, you cannot take my shine. Because I'm protected by the most high. Yeah. Father, you bless me. Yeah. I live to see you night and day. Father, you bless me. Boy, I'm grateful for another day. Wave your hands. Father, you bless me. Yeah. I live to sing another day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Father, you bless me. Boy, I'm grateful for another day. Come on, celebrate. Come on, for those of you who lay in the hospital bed, listen, man. You, you're alive and it is a blessing, so don't give up. Celebrate. I'm alive and well now, now. Celebrate life now, 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 now. Listen now. Sing, I can sing. Dance, shout, yeah, yeah. I live to pray another day. Sing, I can see, breathe, walk, and talk. I'm grateful for another day. Sing, I can sing. Dance, shout, yeah, yeah. And live to sing another day. Come on, listen to me, man. It is a blessing to be alive. So celebrate life every single day. Come on, from the time you wake up from that bed, you're a winner, you're a champion, and it is a blessing to be alive. So celebrate life. Yeah! You bless me. Yeah. Tell them now. Every morning at Ah, so these comments I was actually reading before I come in back. Mm. So Miss Don is saying, nice song. So Wesley Drapal is saying, good morning. Locked in from Liverpool Village. And he's saying, I love this guy and the song. He's <laughs> going to take it all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes, the song Thank is you, actually Diana. talking love, about man. life. Yeah, you know, we've got our own supporters, people yeah. who've actually come on the show. I you know, listen, we got some real critics on music on this page. From the Please. minute they said they like this song, <laughs> it's a plus for you. you. said we got critics? Not the guy needs critics. Oh, crit I said listen to critics. Me, listen, listen to me. You, you know they talk about constructive criticism? Let me tell you this, guy. You know. Constructive criticism is constructive criticism when you have a solution for what you're constructively criticizing. So if you got none, if you're not, if you don't have anything to say of what you're criticizing or to to change what you're criticizing, then you're a hater, man. So relax yourself, man. Yeah, and just <laughs> celebrate life. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one there, but that's what I'm saying. We don't even have no bad comments or bad vibe on this life. It can't come. Uh, yes, because they're <laughs> celebrating life. Is the love for me? Yeah, yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very much for coming. <laughs> it was nice having you yeah, here. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate and it. And good luck in the competition. So, the finals is on the 22nd of February at the Guyana National Stadium. Mm -hmm. What time is the show? Well, they haven't um, given us a time, but uh, definitely it's going to be because it's going to be around like 8, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, so it's going to be so evening. So, come on, I always start late, you know what I mean? Uh, but hopefully this year we're going to have an early start. For those of you who know, tell the ministry we want an early start. So, Guyanese <laughs> people, come out. If you're from Barbie, as you can so you could go home. Ah, you the, understand me? They got, a <laughs> they got some Lindeners in the competition. They got two Lindeners. Yeah, yeah, they got yeah. 
Um, two Barbicians. Yeah, come and represent. <laughs> but listen to me. If you're coming to represent, if you're coming to celebrate life, even though it be celebrating, uh, uh, ha- um, ce- celebration after hard work to rep to represent, celebrate life. Walk with your white flag. Walk with something white, and I want us to wave it so as to show us a representation. Hey, what happened, Timothy? We celebrate in Guyana. We celebrate in because we are blessed to be alive. So walk with something white. So when I say wave it, wave it. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him there. Yeah. <laughs> so that was your exclusive interview with none other yeah. than Timothy Roberts, who is a finalist, one of the 14 finalists in the Senior Soka Monarch 2023. <laughs> yeah. So just enjoy the song and back to regular programming. Bye-bye, Gagano.